Yo, um, still in, if you see my last two videos, uh, I think in both videos I was enjoying this uh, spilled milk IPA and uh, thought I would enjoy it again today. Man, having good beer on tap is is uh, awesome. And I'm proud of this beer. I think I've said this what in the last two videos, how clear it is. There ain't much left in there to show you. Come on, pour you a nice little half glass, full glass, whatever you want. But anyway, that's the spilled milk IPA. Great beer. Love it. Uh, what's this, like my third video in two or three days? And uh, that's unusual for me, but i got a couple more things I want to talk to you about. If I can fumble through this. Uh, first thing is, and I hope I'm pronouncing this name right, Yambor44 uh, hooked me up. And I, I wanted to let you know, Yambor, that uh, 44, that I got the... Uh, package today in, in UPS and uh, look what Yambor 44 hooked me up with y'all six bottles of homebrew and I am stoked uh, there's two of each kind and he also sent me the recipes which was really cool uh, so I, they're all they all look to be just pale ales which I'm actually excited about even though I'm a hophead I've been wanting to brew some good pale ales with some different you know, stuff and uh, Everybody's not a hophead like me and all my buddies that come over, you know. Some of them are getting there, but uh, I still like to have something that's a little easier drinking myself, believe it or not. But still got a little hop presence to it. But uh, I'm excited about brewing these, and hopefully I can work them into my schedule before too long. But I'm excited about trying them. Uh, definitely going to get them out of the bags and, and out of the paper there. And got a little cart in there, and we'll put them in and get them in the fridge so I want to let you know that they made it safe and I really appreciate it and I'm gonna hook you back up uh, I'll probably send you one of these uh, uh, spilled milks and I just got the other beer on tap I think in my last video I was either about to keg it or kegged it that shows you how good my memory is uh, but that's the one-eyed shut IPA and I have no clue how it's gonna taste so I may uh, it'll be it should be halfway carved up by this weekend so maybe next week I'll get you something back in the mail Yambor 44 and uh, like I say I do appreciate it man it's, it's it's always great to get other people's beers to try and I'm looking forward to getting them chilled down and, and trying them out so appreciate it again uh, and moving on to uh, the second item uh, you know I've got like a full kegerator now I've got the uh, the nut brown ale still on tap I've got the um, knock something over here. I've got the nut brown ale on tap. I've got the spilled milk IPA that I'm drinking on right now and I've got the one-eyed shut IPA and it'll be ready here and like I say in about a week it's been uh, it's been on tap for this is the second day so and I had it on 30 PSI for a couple days and I just now bled it off and cranked it down to serving pressure so it should be right in, a, in about a week and hopefully clear up in about a week and a half but and then in two weeks, uh, see this coming weekend, which that's old news right there, but this coming weekend I'll keg the frozen toes, so that'll be another five gallons. And then uh, the Oktoberfest that's fermenting right now uh, is in the kegerator, and it's going to be uh, about two months before it comes off. But it's going to be in the in the kegerator for two more weeks. I just dropped the temperature down on it. It's been at 65 for a week, and it'll be at 60 for two weeks, I think, if I remember right, a week or two. But anyway. Uh, I wasn't going to brew anything for the next like couple of weeks, and uh, one of my other friends on YouTube, uh, Hokey Homebrew, uh, he was kind enough to, well, he put out a little experiment, challenge, whatever you want to call it, and uh, several people have done these in the past with different things, like they'll, uh, they'll say use a certain hop and change or brew a beer and everything, Use everybody uses the same thing except maybe the base grain or something like that. I think. I've never been involved in any of them, but I've kind of caught them here and there when I'm watching other guys doing But uh, I think that's what <clears throat> people have done in the past. Uh, like I say, maybe had like one recipe and, and uh, everybody brew it, have like five to ten people brew it, and uh, everybody brews it the same way and except maybe change the base grains, like I said, or whatever. And then they'll swap those beers around and everybody kind of taste them and see what you got different. But I'll just go ahead and tell you with this experiment that Hokey Homebrew come up with, he's using the same ingredients, same yeast and all that, but he wants people to choose their own hop, uh, single hop. Uh, 
So the base grains, I think, without looking, I think it was like 12 and a half pounds of two row, American two row, <clears throat> a half a pound of crystal 60, and that's it for the grains. And everybody's gonna use those grains, and everybody's gonna use, uh, I think, American uh, L1056 Y yeast. And be right back. All right, sorry about that. Uh, I knew the, the wife got home, and uh, I knew my dog, our dog was gonna start going nuts, so I just went ahead and paused it. Uh, but uh, anyway, like I say, the same base grains, the two row, the crystal 60, and the uh, 1056 Y yeast, uh, all that's going to be the same, but everybody got to choose their own hops, and it's going to be a single hop at 60 minutes, 30 minutes, and 5 minutes, and dry hop. And uh, he's just, like telling you to go ahead and comment on his channel, and I'll, I'll put all, I'll put Yambor 44s, the, you know, the guy sent me the beer mail, because I want you to check out his channel, he's got a kind of going back and forth here, but he's got a really cool uh, Spidel Brewmaster. I know it's, it's a German setup, but if you've not seen one, go check it out. Uh, it's really cool. He's got a really nice setup. And and uh, Hokey Homebrew, I'll put both their links down in the more info section, so you can go check out their channels. But anyway, uh, what uh, Hokey Homebrew was doing is uh, letting everybody pick their hops that they're going to use, and you know, then that hop gets taken, so he don't, he don't want people using the same hop. I think he did Amarillo right off the bat. And I'm doing Chinook, so uh, I can't remember what some of the others were using, but I think it's going to be like eight or ten, somewhere around there, people. So it'll be a lot of beer swaps going on. And, and like I say, I wasn't going to do it. I sat and thought about it. I had the ingredients already. I already had the, I uh, had everything I needed, and kind of went back and forth with a couple of different hops to try. But uh, there's a an arrogant bastard ale that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with, and it uses all Chinook. Uh, is it Chinook or Chinook? But uh, I know the uh, the base grains aren't quite the same. I think uh, the uh, some of the clones for arrogant bastard I've seen out there are uh, at uh, like using cr or the same maybe the same uh, crystal, not the same crystal, but uh, like two row, but like crystal one twenty or special B or something like that. But anyway, it won't be you know close. But I thought, what the heck, just give it a shot. And, and the reason I wasn't going to do it is because my fermenter's tied up. But uh, since the American Ale tempered six yeast is good from like 60 to 70 something degrees, I think it's the temperature range I looked at, and I'm at 60 right now and will be for the next couple of weeks, I thought, what the heck, it'll be on the low end of the temperature scale, but it'll be fine and it'll be interesting to see how it comes out. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so mine will be uh, using uh, Chinook, Chinook, and I've already got my uh, recipe laid out. Uh, it's like a 1064, gosh, 1064 on the original gravity, I think, 1064, 1065, and 60 IBUs, I think. <clears throat> but you'll be able to see it on his video if you can. Y'all can join in, maybe I don't know how many, how many is going to be uh, joining up or how many spots are left. But anyway, just want to throw those couple things out there. And I appreciate Hokey Homebrew uh, throwing this challenge out there. I'm excited about trying it. and. Uh, probably going to try to do it Sunday if the horrible cane don't come through and uh, cause a lot of problems with rain and wind Sunday. Uh, may go ahead and brew it up Sunday. Uh, I don't know what everybody else is doing. I know a lot of guys bottle. Uh, so, you know, I keg and I'll have to bottle from the keg. So, I guess I've never done one of these challenges or whatever, so experiment. So, I guess it might be a couple of months maybe for some people before we can start swapping beers. I don't know. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, appreciate it, Hokey Homebrew, and I wore my shirt just for you. Uh, go Duke. But, uh, and Yambor44, appreciate you sending me the beer. I uh, can't wait to try them, and I'll try to video uh, those as I go. But, uh, yep, that's it. Appreciate it, folks. Got any questions, comments, lay them on. Later.